is the Melanie McGuire you hope the jury knows? At the very beginning, very beginning, we see a little, a little squint, a tiny little, it's, it's almost a micro expression of a squint when we see that. Now, we, we squint when we see something that we don't like, something we, that offends us, or something we're, we're afraid of. And in this case, the word who triggers her, who is. When, when the woman says, who is uh, Melanie McGuire? Who is the Melanie McGuire? Who is the Melanie McGuire? Who is the Melanie McGuire? She she's not ready for it. She's gonna she doesn't know who she's gonna ask her about, even though it's her sitting there it would be obvious. That's my impression of it. Because you see that tiny little squint that makes her uncomfortable. The one who tried to take care of everybody. There's a a collision of nonverbals. We get eyebrow raise and a smile, so that seems agreeable and open, doesn't it? But at exactly the same time, we get nostril flare and suppression of the lips and a bit of a chin jut as well. So that seems to me to be closed and aggressive. So hang on. So can you be agreeable and open and closed and aggressive at the same time? Well, you can if you have an internal conflict going on, i.e. you're trying to be one thing while you're something else at the same time. So uh, it's quite complicated what's happening here. So already, I don't trust what's going on here, particularly. I think what we're seeing is a carefully structured self-image. And the, you know, the way she slowly speaks. The one who tried to take care of everybody. I lived in that part of Jersey for a lot of years, and that's not a standard Jersey brogue kind of pop, 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 move fast, talk, that kind of thing, but a very carefully crafted image. And I'll, I would just about guarantee you anybody who knows her would say that's the way she talked to them all the time. Because look at how she uses her face when she's talking. I did not admit, blink, 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 blink. Did not admit what, what she's accused of. She even pauses in cadence at... I did not admit. She didn't say I didn't do it. She said I didn't admit it. I don't trust anybody who is smoothly moving along and then chooses the words did not admit. And the cadence shifts. And then you see something different. She's got her own image of self to maintain. And that is I'm a good person and I sacrifice for others. We see an eye flutter. And that suggests here the same as the squint. But did not admit what, what she's accused of. It bothers her to say it because she knows it's not true. There's eye flutter, which is a deviation for her. There's a shift to internal dialogue where her eyes go down and to her left. This is when we're talking about something inside of our head. And there's an immediate mouth closure after this. So she finishes this little statement and shuts her mouth immediately, which is also a deviation from her baseline. She's also talking in third person here throughout the entire clip. And I think some of that has to do with the that she's, you know, been asked this question in a strange way. But I think she finds comfort in doing this. And if I were the interrogator, I would start asking questions. And instead of what did you do, I would say, what did Melanie do about this? Or what, what did Melanie think about this? And I would push her into a dissociative frame of mind as much as I possibly could. Just with this one person, though.